it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and coming in a little late after Halloween I'm going to show you how to do this wonderful little witch. Um, it's a tutorial that I promised to do so I want to do it. Um, had a little bit of my mother-in-law was sick and had some issues going on and I couldn't get on for a while so I'm sorry about that but that's okay because we're going to know get to learn how to do it today and then we'll know how to do it for um, next Halloween. So um, and it's really fun to make. Also, this does not have to be a witch. It can be a little doll. Um, it could be an ornament for a tree. There's so many things that you can do for this. I already have a tutorial for the witch's hat up. I will link that in the description below um, for Facebook and for YouTube. Right now I am on Facebook Live. Um, but I will be uploading this video to YouTube as well. So yeah, please look for this uh, witch's tutorial on there. A witch's hat tutorial. Um, but yeah, so the hair, the body, the dress, everything else, it could be made in any color, however you want to do it. But I'm just going to show you how to make all of this. I'm also going to show you how to make the broom, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell. And if you're on Facebook, please like and share. Also, we are up to almost 400 subscribers. Woo, yippee! So I am, I've been promising to do a giveaway. And with everything going on, I haven't had a chance yet. But my next video Will absolutely be a giveaway so I'm excited about doing that so please like and share um, all shares all subscribers um, all comments anyone who's liked they will all be entered in this big big giveaway okay so what we're going to need today our materials is we're going to need a 4.5 millimeter hook and we're also going to need a 3.5 millimeter hook you're also going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need a darning needle, or if you may call it a crochet needle, okay? So you will need those things today. I'm also using, um, this is a Red Heart Super Saver for the actual body, and I think, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know exactly what color it is, but if you can tell, I think, I think it was called Sand. I think that was the color of this. And it's just Red Heart Super Saver. And then I'm using Karen Simply Soft and Purple for the dress. And then I'm using um, just black mainstays, okay? So those are the colors that you're gonna need. Again, you can use any colors you want to. You could make the body a different color. Um, you could make it paler. You could use a, a lighter color. I did want it to make, you know, to make it look like skin. Some people use a pink, a pinkish color. You can use whatever color you want. Also, I used a little pink for the mouth here. Um, and you really don't have to put a mouth on here, but um, that's up to you. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that we're going to get started with is the actual body of the witch. And what we're going to do is um, you can do a magic circle, which I have some other videos on how to do that. Or you can do the um, fake magic circle. And that's just where you are going to do a slip knot. And actually, you are going to start with your 4.5 millimeter hook for this, okay, for the body. Um, so you're going to do a slip knot and then you're going to chain two and then you're going to work um, six and the first chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you would just pull it like that, just like a magic circle, but it's like a little cheat, okay? So then we're gonna go right into our first single crochet, which will be right here. And we're going to be working in the circle, or in the round. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to do two in each around to make 12, okay? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, 
I'm just going to pull that a little bit tighter. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I do have plastic stitch markers, but I'm just going to use a piece of yarn. So I'm just cutting off a piece of my purple yarn over here. And I'm going to put this right here for our stitch marker, okay? Um, if you feel comfortable counting and you don't want to use one, that's fine. But I even like to use a stitch marker when I'm working in the round. Um, so we know where we began and when we end, okay? So now what we're going to do now is we're going to do um, one single crochet all the way around for a count of 12. So we're going to go right into our next available single crochet and we're going to count 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and pull that stitch marker out and we'll put our last one right here for twelve. Okay, and it's going to start curling up on you a little bit. That's fine. So we're going to put our stitch marker back. And again, this is for the body of the witch. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do one single crochet in the next spot there. And the next one, we're going to do two single crochets. One and two. And we're going to keep doing that all around. So in the next one, we'll do one. In the next one, we'll do two. And the next one, one. And the next one, two. And this should leave you with a total of 18. One. And we're going to pull that stitch marker out for our last, and the last one we're going to put two in there. Okay. Just pulled that middle a little tighter. Okay, so we have a total of 18 around now that we did our increases. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do one single crochet all the way around for a total of 18. And this yarn is a little, um, I don't know if it's the color or why, but it's a little stringy. It wants to grab a lot, which usually Red Heart is not like that. But this in particular yarn is. And I think sometimes you just get yarns that have uh, certain colors to them or textures, and they seem to be a little bit more um, where they break apart easily as you're crocheting. So that was a total of 18 all the way around. And then we're going to put our stitch marker right back where it was. And now we're going to do three rows of single crochets. So 18 around three times, okay? So we're just going to do that. Now we finished our three rows of 18. We're going to put our stitch marker right back in there. And now we're going to start decreasing. And to decrease, what we're going to do for this first one right here is we're going to do one single crochet right into our next available spot there. And then we're going to do a decrease. So we're going to go into our next one, pull up the yarn. We're going to go into our next one, pull up the yarn. And then we're going to go through all three. Then we're going to do one single crochet. And again, we're going to do a decrease. We're going to pull up our yarn and go to the next, pull up our yarn and go through all three. Again, 
one single crochet and then go in through our next stitch there pull up our yarn don't go through anything go into our next stitch pull up the yarn don't go everything and go through all three okay and you're just gonna keep doing that all the way around for our decreases so again we'll go to the next and do a single crochet the next do a decrease Just keep doing that all the way around and you will end on a decrease so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out the stitch marker and I'm gonna to go to my next go to my next and go through all three okay and that leaves you back with a stitch count of 12 so now we're gonna put our stitch marker right here where we just stopped And then we're going to do one single crochet around for a total of 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. Okay, and that's what it looks like so far. Just like that. So we're gonna put our stitch marker back and we're going to decrease again. And now what we're going to do is um, one double crochet all the um one decrease i'm sorry not double crochet i'm reading my pattern that i wrote out and it said dc for decrease <laughs> okay so um i need to stop doing that um so anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to do a decrease all the way around which is going to leave us with six um and um, we are going to go ahead and do that if you would prefer you could start stuffing this now but i'm going to do it after i do this so I'm simply gonna go, just like we were doing before the decreases, I'm gonna go into the next one, I'm gonna go into the next one, I'm gonna go through all three. And I'm just gonna do that all the way around, and it will leave us with a total of six. So now I can pull out my stitch marker because I know my decrease is going to be in these last two. Okay, and that's what it looks like for the body. And so I've got a hole about this size. Like I said, if you would prefer, you could start stuffing before you did that round. But I'm going to simply start stuffing now. So let me reuse this right here. So um, even when you buy it though, you really need to break the stuffing up. Um, just makes it easier to mold correctly in your whatever you're doing so I'm gonna pull out this really large so it doesn't get stuck or come unraveled and I'm just gonna simply start stuffing into the top of my project here and it'll kind of go in a little bit on you but that's okay you can use the end of your crochet hook if you want to press it down and I'm just going to keep taking my stuffing and um, making sure that my, my working yarn here is still here. And you don't have to be gentle um, with yarn. It's actually pretty malleable so you just kind of working it in there and see we're shaping a body so I'm just gonna keep using my hook to push that down because we want to get it really nice and full you can also use your fingers okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit more in there Okay. 
Okay. And for me, I think that's good. You can make it as big as you want. You could stuff it more. Um, but this is the body. See? That's what it looks like. We're going to put a dress over it, though, but and some little arms. But um, that's just the body. Okay. So and now what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, we, I finished stuffing it as much as I want to, so I'm going to put my hook back in. And I'm going to cut off quite a bit of yarn because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around each place here, each stitch here at the top, there's six. I'm going to go through and I'm going to do a um, slip stitch in each one around. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. And there's five and there's six okay and all that does is it just closes up the hole a little bit for you where you don't have to use your needle so much okay so now I'm just going to simply pull through and tighten up okay and I actually don't need to do anything else to that um, you could take a needle and thread through if you want to but there's gonna be a head sticking on top of this so um, you're really not gonna be able to see that so I'm gonna leave it just like that and I'm gonna leave my yarn just like this in case we need it for the head. I'm not sure yet, I may use the yarn from the head yet, but either way, just leave a little bit off in case you need to use it to work anything in. Okay, so there's our body, we're done with that. I'm gonna stick this over here. And the next thing we're gonna do is the head. And to do the head, it's very similar to the body, it's just a tiny bit different. I'm gonna keep my stitch marker out. And again, we're going to do that fake magic circle and we're gonna do six again, so we're gonna do a slip knot we're still using our 4.5 millimeter hook and we're going to chain two and then in the first chain from the hook we're going to work six so one two three four five and six and then you're just going to pull it just like you would a magic circle and voila okay now um we are going to be working in the round again and the first thing that you're going to do is do two single crochets all the way around so one two three four five six and then we're going to go right into our next available spot which is this right here when you're making these you notice that there's this little piece of yarn right here it's going to happen every time you do that um, you don't want to go into there, you want to go into the actual first single crochet, okay? So we're going to go right in there, be a little difficult to work into. And I don't use the stitch marker right here in the beginning, I find it just more bothersome, but you're more than welcome to if you need to, but I just count. So I'm going to go right in here, I'm going to do one. said it's hard to get into but right into this first stitch working in the round I'm gonna put one and two and the next put two so that's four three and four and two in the next five and six seven and eight nine and ten and eleven and twelve okay and then you're just gonna pull this in just like that and so now you have your twelve okay so now what we're going to do is we're gonna put our stitch marker back in And now we're going to work one and two all the way around. If you've seen my other videos, then you might know what that means. But we're just gonna go right, remember we're working in the round, so we're gonna go right into our next available space and we're gonna do one single crochet. We're gonna go into the next and we're gonna do two. And we're gonna go into the next and we're gonna do one. We're going to the next and we're gonna do two. And we're gonna do that all the way around, one and two. For a total of 18. And 
And in this last one, there will be two. So I'm going to pull out my stitch marker. I'm going to put in two. I'm going to put my stitch marker right back in. And again, that's 18. Oh, this yarn is so wonky. And guys, I've been working on a memory bear for several days now, which required a lot of sewing, and I can barely feel my hands. They are like totally numb. So my carpal tunnel is giving me a heck of a time. But anyways, okay, so we've got 18. We did our one and two, and now we're going to do our two and two, which means we're going to go right into our next available stitch here. We're going to do one single crochet, and we're going to go into the next, and we're going to do one single crochet, and then we're going to go into the next one and do two single crochets. Again, go into the next, do one single crochet, go into the next, one single crochet, and then go into the next and do two single crochets all the way around for a stitch count of 24. Again. And I lost my uh, count, which will happen to you as well, probably. Um, hopefully not. So I'm going to go right back to where I was. My mind wandered on me. And we're going to start over again. Again, one, one, and two. One, one, and two. Again, one, one. And two. One, one, and two. And again, we're going to end on two. Okay, so I'm going to put my stitch marker right back. And you should have a stitch count of 24 now. And now we're going to go ahead and go right into our decreases um, after we do four rows. I'm so sorry. We're going to do four rows of 24. Okay. So let's see here. So we'll do four rows of 24. So I'm going to back here. We first started. We're going to take out a stitch marker and then we're going to put it back in. And now we're going to start doing our decreases to make this smaller, okay? And then I'm just not liking that little piece poking out there, so I'm just going to pull it, tighten it up quite a bit there. I'm just going to press that right back in. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do our decreases, and the first thing that we're going to do is two and two decrease, which means that we're going to go right into our next stitch, and we're going to do one single crochet, then go into the next, another single crochet, and in the next two, we're going to do a decrease. So we're gonna go right into our next one, pull up our yarn, go into the next, pull up our yarn, and then go through all three. Then we're gonna go into our next one, do a single crochet, into the next single crochet, and then into the next two, a decrease. So we're pulling up our yarn in each stitch there, and then we're going through all three, and then we're gonna do that all the way around. So into the next again, one single crochet, and into the next, another single crochet, and the next, a decrease. I'm gonna pull up our yarn, go into the next one, pull up our yarn, and go through all three. Okay. And this will leave us with a stitch count of 18. And there goes that yarn being wonky again. There 
last decrease will be where your stitch marker is. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out because I know these last two are my decrease. I go right in. Okay, then I'm going to put my stitch marker back. Okay, so now we have a total of 18 around. And now what we're going to do is one and two decrease. This will leave us with a total of 12. So again, we're just going to go right into our next stitch. We're going to do one single crochet. Then we're going to go right into the next into a decrease. So we're going to pull up our yarn, go into the next, pull up our yarn, and go through all three. Again, one single crochet, and then a decrease. And then again, one single crochet, and a decrease. And just keep doing that all the way around. Okay, and then again, we're at our decrease where our stitch marker is. So we're going to place that in there and do our decrease right here. And then we're going to put our stitch marker right back in. When you do your decreases, your head is going to start looking a little funny. It's going to start folding in at some places. That's okay because what we're doing is basically making a spear um, or, a, you know, a ball, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, and so because that's going to be the head. So now we're down to 12 single crochets all the way around. And we're going to do um, our last decrease, which is just a decrease all the way around to get to 12. Okay, just like we did for our body. So now we're going to go right into a decrease instead of doing any kind of single crochet. We're just going to go right in and do a decrease right there. Go into the next two. Another decrease. And do that all the way around till you get back to your stitch marker. And you should be left with a stitch count of six. I know I'm on my last two, so I'm going to pull out my stitch marker. Okay, and that's what it looks like so far. Okay, looks a little funky. <laughs> but once we put the um, stuffing in, it won't look that way. Okay, so now just like I did for the body, I'm going to pull out a good bit of my working yarn here. Um, and I'm just going to kind of open this up with the end of my crochet hook. Okay, and then I'm going to start stuffing our head. And no, this is not a voodoo doll. But whatever floats your boat. <laughs> okay, so um, I think they actually call any kind of, I'm not sure if you're on here and you know, I think anything that's stuffed, isn't it called origami? Um, I'm not sure though, because then there's large, so you can make a large stuffed animal. Origami is usually small, so I'm not really sure. Uh, but that's just the act of making, you know, um, stuffed animals for crochet work. So I guess maybe it does. But I'm just breaking again, breaking up my stuffing. I'm going to, you know, put my finger in there to get it widened a little bit. And I'm going to start um, stuffing that in there. And uh, just to form the head. Okay, I'm going to get some more. Just breaking this up. It's so amazing what you can do with crochet. I mean, you could just make anything. I've made giraffes and um, flamingos and uh, teddy bears and just all kinds of stuff you can make with crochet. It's really amazing. Um, one of the reasons why I love it okay so as you can see it looks I'm stuffing it it looks a little funky so you just take your hands you're gonna mold this head however you want it you're gonna stuff it as much as you want it um, like I, like I said again you can use the bottom of your crochet hook to push this down 
You can also, if you have small fingers and not man hands like me, you can, you know, simply put your fingers in there and spread, spread it around to get it to reach all the um, inside there. Okay. So I still think it needs a little bit more. So I'm just grabbing some more stuffing. It has a piece of potpourri in it. And um, I think this will probably be all that I need for this. So one of the things that you really kind of have to feel and kind of as your own discretion how you want it to be okay but that's what it looks like now that's the head okay now we've stuffed it all up and now what we're gonna do is just like we did for the body I'm gonna put my hook back into my working yarn here that has somehow gotten a little crazy here they got a little turned around huh <laughs> okay so now we're back where we need to be and what I'm gonna do is just do slip stitches all the way around so I'm gonna go right into my next space and do a slip stitch and this is just gonna help close this area up here sorry again this this yarn is really just crazy I don't know what's wrong with it actually that just closed up on me right there as you can see because it had gotten twisted around when I was stuffing it but that's okay because at least it's still attached and all we need to do now and this is just going to show you another way of how to close this up instead of doing the slip stitches I'm going to cut off a good bit of yarn I'm going to get my darning needle and I'm going to close up the top of the head with my darning needle so that works out it just shows you a different way to do it because um, you can do the slip stitches all the way around to close it up or you can do it this way okay so again I'm just molding a little bit with my hand and then I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna go in and out all the way around just like I would do with my hook but I'm using a darning needle to do it okay I'm going all the way around and just weaving in and out and it will slowly start to close up the hole there on the top of the head, okay? You just keep going all the way around and it will do that. And then as I get really close here to the bottom, just making sure I stuff that stuffing back in, I'm going to just simply go back and forth weaving the yarn in and out to close up the, the head part right there, okay? See, that's all you need to do. Um, then to finish this off you would just because you don't want this to come undone So you need to make sure that your yarn is secure So you would simply go right back through the space the yarns coming out of And remember the rules of three as long as you go in and out three times you're good I find that when I'm stuffing animals though that really two times is sufficient So I went through once I'm gonna go through the same place again So you can't see it and go through the other side Okay then I'm going to pull this as tight as I can because I'm going to make sure this goes back in to the head. So I'm pulling it and cutting it, okay? And then there we go. We finished the head for our doll, our witch here, okay? So now we've got our body and our head, and this is what it would look like. So see, we're just creating a little doll here, okay? And actually it would fit like this. And thank goodness I left this string here because that was worked into the head. So now I have can use this to work on my head later, just so on my head, okay? So now we're gonna move on, and now we're gonna go to the arms. The arms are pretty easy, um, but it is working with little stuff, can make it a little difficult. So I'm gonna shake out my hands and get them to come back to life. But right now you are gonna use your, you're gonna move over to your um, 3.5 millimeter hook that I told you you would need in the beginning. And we're just going to do a slip knot. And we're going to do six again. So we're going to do a chain two. And we're going to do six right into the first chain from the hook. One, two, three four, five, 
and six. Okay, then you're going to pull that. And now what you're going to do is you're just going to do 24 single crochets all the way around working in the round. You're never going to slip stitch. You do not need a stitch marker. You're just simply going to keep going round and round until you get to 24. So I'm going to go right into my first and I'm going to tell you guys it's kind of difficult because we're working with little itty bitty arms here. You're going to go right into your first available stitch here. And like I said, it's hard to get into, but you need to get under both um, both of those things there. You need to get under both and just do one and just keep going around. Two, three, four, five, six, it does get easier as you go. I'm going to start turning this the other way. I want to make sure that my good side is pointed out and not to the inside. Okay, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and as this starts, so remember we're on number 13, but as this starts, this little piece starts getting in your way, just start pressing it back down. In there if it starts getting in your way. We were on 13, 14, and it's going to start getting longer and longer. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And as you can see, we've created a little arm. Now this end is looking a little funky to me. So all I need to do, I'm gonna pull that out and I'm going to pull on this middle piece to get that to flatten out at the end, okay? So now that I've pulled it up and I've fixed it the way I want it to do, now I can take my the end of my crochet hook and I can put this inside this arm, okay? Because it's just gonna be attached to our doll. But I've put it in quite a bit, so I'm going to cut off the end now, okay, because I know it's safe and it's not going to come undone. And then I'm just going to press that more down right there, okay. But that is what the arm looks like. And so what I would do is I would leave it open at the end like that. I would cut off a good deal of yarn. And then I would just simply go in and pull off just like that. And you're gonna need two of these, remember? And then this would just sit just like this on the side, okay? And you'll have two, and one will be over here, and one will be over here, and then you'll have your head right here. I am gonna show you how to attach these, but I'm not gonna do two of these, so, because it's just simple, you know what to do. It was simply six in a magic circle, and then 24 working in the round, 24 single crochet all the way around, okay? So we've got that, and now what we're gonna move on to is the dress, okay? So using my 3.5 millimeter hook, I'm gonna be using this purple yarn. It is Simply Soft, um, Karen, um, purple. I don't know what color it is, purple. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do a slip knot. Do a slip knot. 
and then I'm going to chain 25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Okay, so we've chained 25 and now we're going to do a half double crochet all the way back down that 25, okay? So we're going to not go into where we're right here where our yarn's coming out of, but into the next available stitch, we're going to do a half double crochet. Then we're gonna to go to the next and do a half double crochet. And we're gonna to go to the next and do a half double crochet. And then we're gonna do the next and do a half double crochet. And just do that all the way down. We're down here to our last half double crochet. And now what we're going to do is we're going to join these two together, okay? Just follow along with me. I know it seems a little weird. We're gonna close this up at the end, okay? But what we're gonna do is we're going to, okay, so here I am, here's my hook. I'm going to bring these two ends together, just like this. I'm gonna go right into the top of my first half double crochet. I'm gonna bring these together with a slip stitch, okay? I want to make sure that I find this correctly here. Okay. And we're just joining, you see that? We're joining that together. This is the bottom of our dress. We're going to be working from the bottom to the top. Okay. So now that we've got our 25 and see this is left here at the end, but we're going to close that at the end and I'll show you how to do that when we get there Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a half double crochet all the way around again So I think that's 24. Okay, so um, we're going to um, Chain one Go into our next space and do a half double crochet We're going to do that all the way around right back up here to where we stopped here. So I'm going to put one half double crochet there and then I'm going to join with a slip stitch right into the first half double crochet we did, not the chain um, not the chain one. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do um, We're going to do a decrease so we're going to do two half double crochets and then we're going to do one decrease and that'll leave us with a stitch count of 20 okay so we're going to right into our next spot do a half double crochet oh i'm sorry we're going to chain one we need to do that chain one to bring up our yarn then we're going to go right into our next spot do a half double crochet and then we're going to do another half double crochet and then we're going to do a decrease now to do a half double crochet decrease I'm going to yarn over go into my next space pull up don't go through anything yarn over go in through my next space pull up and now I'm going to go through one two three four five all five of those okay so then I'm going to go into my next stitch do a half double crochet go into my next do a half double crochet and then to do the decrease, I'm going to yarn over, go into my next stitch, pull up. There's three on there. Don't go through anything. Yarn over, go through my next, pull up, and then go through all of those on my hook. So again, I'm going to go to the next and do a half double crochet. To the next, do a half double crochet. And then I'm going to do my decrease. I'm going to keep doing that all the way around. And this should leave me with 20.
Okay, now we're at the very end here. We're just going to work our last decrease right there. Okay. And then we're going to slip stitch right into that first half double crochet, not the chain one. Okay. And that's what it looks like so far. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is just two rounds of 20. Okay. So we're just going to do two rounds. We're going to pull up. Um, our single crochet to pull up our yarn and we're just going to go around doing half double crochets all the way around for two rounds and then this is just giving us more length for our dress Okay, so we're here at the end, and we're going to slip stitch again to that first half double crochet. We're going to chain up one, okay? and as you can see, it's starting to create that hourglass look that we need to make our dress, and we're just going to go around again doing a half double crochet. I'm sorry I'm so quiet, but I just don't don't feel the need to count because I think that's just aggravating to people. <laughs> um, so yeah. Just going around here doing these half double crochets. And we're on our last one. So now we're going to slip stitch to our first half double crochet. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do another decrease. And what we're going to do is one and two. So we're going to bring our yarn up with one single crochet. We're going to go into our next available stitch. We're going to do one half double crochet. Then we're going to go right into a decrease. Okay. Just like I showed you before. We're going to do that all the way around. one half double crochet and then a decrease in the next two places. two for our last decrease. And then we're going to slip stitch again to that first one there. Okay. And, and now what we're going to do is we're going to, now we should have a stitch a count of 15. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do the armholes for the arms. So what we're going to do is do two half double crochets. 
just looking at my chicken scratch over here. So we're gonna do two half double crochets. One, and then two. And then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to skip three. So one, two, three, we're gonna skip those three. And in the fourth one, we're going to put a half double crochet. Okay? Then we're going to do three half double crochets. Oh goodness, I'm sorry. I hit my camera. Sorry about that. So now we're going to do three half double crochets. One, two, and three. Then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to skip three. One, two, one, two, three. And in the fourth, we're going to put a half double crochet. And then we're right back to where we started. And so then we're going to put a slip stitch right there to join it together, okay? And that is your little dress. There's your little armholes and there's the part there that goes over the top. So now what you're going to do is you're just gonna leave a little bit of yarn here and you're going to pull through and now you finished your little dress okay you could put one single crochet all the way around if you wanted to there at the end that's up to you but I'm gonna leave it just like that okay and so then how it would do is that it would just go um, straight over your little body here and then um, it would go right up to the top and then your arms would be attached here and then the arm would just go right through the little hole, like so. And then it would just be like that. But I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute, okay? So I'm going to take this dress off. We're going to put that to the side. And now I'm going to show you how to do the witch's broom real quick. It doesn't take very long. You are going to need a three point, the 3.5 millimeter hook. We're going to start off with... Um, the black yarn, okay, and let me see if I can make sure. I thought I had this undone, but I guess not. There we go, okay. So what we're gonna do for this broom, it's very similar to when we do the hand for the, I mean the arm for the doll. We're gonna do a slip knot. Then we're going to do a magic circle with four. So one, two, and this is black. Okay, I'm basically just gonna instruct you how to do this because um, it would take a long time and um, you're not gonna be able to see it anyway. So you're gonna go right into the first stitch from the hook and you're gonna do four. One, two, three, four. So just like we've been doing for all the others, but instead of six, we're going to do four. And then you're going to pull it tight. And then you're simply going to do um, uh, I think it was 64. 64 single crochets all the way around into this four. Okay. And then what happens is um, it just keeps getting longer and longer and longer, and it's hard to get in. Um, do not go through the two. Go through each way you want to so it looks a little knobby, like a witch's broom would look. So basically what you're doing is, okay, so let's say you start. You would normally want to make sure that you went through. See, you can't see that. I, I got I to gotta do a different color. Okay, but for this, it's black. But I'm just going to show you this real quick, okay? Um, so we did our slip knot. We're gonna chain two, 
we're going to go into the first chain from the hook and we're going to do um, four single crochets, two, three, and four. And then you would, um, you know, just pull it tight and then you would start working in the round doing 64 single crochets. So normally I would want to make sure that I went through both loops here you know, because you want to get through both so it looks nice and clean, okay? But because you want this knobby-like effect, it doesn't matter if you go through two or not. If you get them, you get them. If you don't, you don't. It's just going to add to the way that it looks like a real broom. So I can go right through that top one if I want to, okay? And I don't need to turn it inside out or anything. I'm just going to keep going round and round until um, I get to 64. So there's two and three and four and five and I'm just picking up as I go around anything that I can grab and I just keep going until I get to 64 and it's going to start looking um, really kind of knobby like this okay which is not what we would normally want but we want that for this burn okay so what I'm going to show you now is how to do this little end here for your actual broom, your sweeper part of your broom here. So um, you would just count to 64, like I said, and then you would be done with your handle. Your handle would look like this, okay? And then what you would do to make the little end here, you would take your yarn facing down, and you would wrap it around your fingers, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, let's just say 20. Make it as big as you want to. I wrapped it around there, and I see it's right around my hand. Then I'm going to take another piece of yarn, and then I'm going to go right through my middle fingers here, just like you were making a pom-pom, okay? So, or a poof, or whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to pull this up right through my fingers here, I'm going to pull this up through these middle fingers and then I'm just going to tie it just like this. And I'm going to tie it pretty tight, okay? I'm going to do that four times. It's just my number. I don't know why. So there's three and there's four. So making sure to hold these two up then you flip it back over and then you cut this side to open them, okay? That was just like you ever made a pom-pom, it's the same way, okay? Then I would shake it out, holding these two pieces that secured it together. And then I would fold down, and then I would just trim off my excess Just like this. That's the end of our broom. Then what I'd like to do is, is I take one of these pieces here, one of these pieces, and I wrap it around the top of my, the end of my broom here. So I'm holding this down, okay? And I'm taking one of my, the pieces from this, and I'm just wrapping it around right here. I'm trying to. All this worked off camera. Isn't that the way it is? <laughs> um, but you could take both, I guess, if you needed to. I really had it nailed before, but anyways, um, if you can't get that, I can't seem to get it to work on camera, so I'm just going to show you with another piece of yarn. You can just take another piece of yarn. And this just makes it look more realistic. So I'm pulling this down and I'm laying my other piece of yarn over it. Okay. And then I would simply tie it here at the top. And I'm really having a hard time with this for some reason. And I really wanted to show it to you. Anyway, kind of like that. There you go. So I'm just, you know. Just 
holding that little piece down there at the top to make it look more like a broom. And then you could take these, um, wrap them around a little bit more, tuck them in there in the back, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, and it'll stay there in place. You can also use a darning needle to make it more secure if you'd like to. I think I did that with my actual broom. Okay. So then, and if you still have a few scragglers here and there, just pull on it till it pulls them down. Um, and then just like that. And if you still got some, you know, like little things at the end that you need to cut off, you can just trim them, you know, just like that. Okay. And there's the top to your broom. Okay, just like that and then what you would do is you would just sew this end onto the actual broomstick okay and you could use these pieces right here these pieces to sew in and sew right into the middle of it so that you can't see it and then it'll look just like this okay so that's how you make the broom I hope that was <laughs> easy to understand I'm sorry if it was a little bit confusing if you have any questions like I say, please don't, don't hesitate to ask. I'll be glad to help. Okay, but now what I'm going to do is show you how to put this together. So what we would do is we would, um, we've left our yarn on our body here. So we're going to put that through a darning needle. And then we're going to simply sew on the head. And right where you see where the bottom was, right there, that little hole, is going to go right on the top of this, okay? And so then we're just going to start working in all the way around, working this head into place, okay? Don't be scared to sew into what you've crocheted. It's not going to mess anything up. You're just wanting to place the head right on top of the body. And so I'm just going all the way around and sewing. Okay. And as I go around, I can start seeing exactly where I want it and I can start placing it more and picking up um, more places that I want for it to be secure at. Sometimes you will catch a little bit of your stuffing. Don't worry. Just take your crochet hook or your darning needle and press it right back in. Okay. So I'm just going around making sure that the head is fastened to the body, okay? Now to get this um, to go uh, not where you can't see it, to finish it off, you would simply go into where it was started and go right into the middle of the body and come out and then go right back into the same place and come out another place. And this will secure this so it doesn't ever come undone, okay? Which is really important if you're making these for little kids because you don't want these yarns to come undone. So I'm just kind of, and as you can see there, a little bit of stuffing came out. That's okay. I'm going to show you here in just a minute. I'm going to pull this. Uh, that yarn is going right back in there. You can't see it. And then I'm going to take my darning needle and I'm just going to press that right back in. You can't even see. Okay, so there's the head. And then we've got our arm. This uh, doll I did not make any legs for, but um, if you wanted to make legs, um, you could make them very similar to um, the, the arms and just make them longer, okay? So again, you would just take the yarn that you had left over after making your arm there and you would thread your yarn through your darning needle. And then you would place the arm right here where it doesn't look right to place it, but it will, right there at the base of the head, okay? And so then you just take it, and I just go through both sides there, and I go right in to the side of the head there, just like that, okay? And it looks like my yarn totally, like, did, you know, like did that thing that it does. It just, uh, Totally cut up there. So I'm going to cut the end off a little bit so that it, maybe it'll do better because I really want to show you how to put the arm on. So um, I'm just going to thread this again because it got tied up. And again, we're just going to go right here to the base. Um, you're just going to find where you want your front at, okay? And um, you're just going to go right to the side here and 
place your arm. So I'm going to pick up both sides of the arm where that hole is there. And I'm just going to pull it in just like that. Okay. And as you can see, we're creating a little arm here. Okay. So then when you get done with that and you're done sewing on your arm exactly where you want it to go, um, you would do the same thing that I just showed you to do before to get, um, to get it back within the body and to hide the yarn. You would just go right into the place where you came out of um, so you can't see it. I'm having to continuously trim this to get it into the darning needle because this yarn keeps wanting to bake across. Okay, so then I'm just going to go right back in and in into the body and then I can cut it off. Okay, just like that. And then what we're going to do is, is here we've got our dress and remember there at the bottom where we started and it looked kind of funky. I'm going to go ahead and sew that in. So it closes up the bottom of the dress there. So you're just going to go right into this next available spot here and pull that in with your darning needle. And then you would just remember the rule of three again. One, two, and three. And I've worked that yarn in. And now I can cut it off. And the same for the top, you can just work that in. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to cut it off because it's already really long. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut that off there. But normally, don't ever do that. <laughs> um, please work in your yarn. Okay. So then what you can do is, is you can just, um, you pull your dress um, up over <laughs> the body here. And then you would... Put your arm in. It's a little snug. I wanted to make sure that it was tight and fit appropriately. So you just pull up your dress over the body, just like that. And then right where your armholes are, right where your armholes are, you just pull your dress up, just like you were dressing a doll. And then you would have your other arm there, and that would go through that side as well. And then the dress covers the body, okay, just like that. All right, and then you would have your other arm over here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm gonna show you how to do the hair. The eyes are simply just, you just simply go in and put a little eye here and a little eye here. Um, you would use like your black yarn, whatever yarn color you wanna use, and you would just do a small X here and a small X there, and that yarn would gather. And then to do the nose, you would just, you know, kind of just go back and forth, back and forth into one spot with a piece of yarn and it'll make the nose. So those are simple to do, but I really want to show you how to do the hair. It's easy as well. But what you're going to do is, is you're just going to take um, a bunch of pieces of yarn that you want to cut off to begin with. So you would, you know, just cut off a bunch of yarn. So because remember, this is what it's going to look like. OK, this is the hair. Now I'm going to show you how to get it, get it kind of curly like that, okay? Um, but what you would do is, is you would just cut a bunch of pieces off about the same length, okay? And then you would take your crochet hook and you would start on the baseline. Okay, so, so let's just say this is the front of the face right here. So I want to frame that with hair. So I'm going to start right up here at the top. And however long you make your pieces is how long your hair is going to be. So I just simply pull it in and then I tie it once and then I tie it twice. Okay? Just like that. And then I would get another piece of yarn. I'll make this one a little bit longer. And then I would continue to frame the face with this, okay? So I'm looking at the front of my doll and I'm going down the face, down the side of the face with the yarn of what kind of other, you know, whatever kind of hair color you want. I'm using black. 
Um, and then you would just, I do one and then two, okay? And then you would just keep doing that all the way along, just adding hair all the way around. Then you would turn it over and you would add hair here and here and here and here until you get all the way down with as much hair as you want. When you're done, you could put them in, in pigtails, you could braid them, you could do whatever. I decided to leave her hair down. And what I did to make it look a little curly or crimped was I took my darning needle and I went right through the middle, which was... Hopefully it'll do right on camera and I just go right through the middle just like that and it breaks it up and makes it look kind of curly. So I'm just kind of separating the yarn a little bit with my darning needle and I did that all the way around and it gave it that crimped curly effect. Okay, when you get done you can trim the hair and make it as you wish. So that's how you make this. If you have any questions, like I said, um, feel free to ask me. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe, um, and uh, that you comment, and all those things so that you can be entered into the giveaway. And now that we've finished Halloween and stuff, I'm going to start on some Christmas and Thanksgiving tutorials. If you have any ideas, please let me know. Um, and thanks uh, for joining me. Happy crocheting, guys. Bye-bye. Is the love that made you crumble from the inside out? I believe in a new day to come that is always darkest before the dawn. Moving in slow motion, baby, still I'm moving on.